Hi dears, the experimental techniques that is an elective course for third semester MSc physics students under the Calicut University syllabus. Okay, and uh, this video is going to explain the vacuum techniques introduction part, units and measurements, and basic definition. Now I'm starting with the vacuum techniques module one. That is. This includes units and basic definitions and the idea about the roughing pumps and high vacuum pumps such as turbo molecular pump, diffusion pump, etc. First we can start uh, and uh, again it has been explaining the vacuum gauges that is the granny gauge, thermocouple gauge, pending gauge, hot filament ionization gauge, vacuum accessories such as diaphragm, gate wall, butterfly wall, baffle wall, etc and some traps and liquid nitrogen traps etc. Introduction As we all know the vacuum is a Latin word which means empty and in this case we can give it as a definition such as it is a given region of space filled with gas at pressures below the atmosphere that is having the density of molecules less than about 2.5 into 10 raised to 10 molecules per centimeter cube. Once again, it is a given region of space which is filled with gas at pressures below the atmospheric pressure. The field of science and engineering dealing with the production of measurement of vacuum is known as vacuum technology. And these are the uh, several units and measurement which we have used uh, for the range of vacuum. Okay, that is the first one is dynes per centimeter square, the second one is bar third one is millimeter mercury and it is also known as tor and the next one is millibar and the last one is atmosphere. Here in this table we can see the comparison of various units of vacuum in dynes per centimeter square, bar, tor, millibar, atmosphere etc. And the basic definitions of vacuum technology. As we know, a simple vacuum system consists of some basic terms and the first one is a vessel or chamber to be evacuated. And uh, it also includes a vacuum gauge, a valve, a connecting line and a pump. That is whole this system is known as a simple vacuum system. That is a vacuum system includes a vessel or chamber to be evacuated, vacuum gauges, valve, connecting line and a pump. And here is a simple figure of a uh, vacuum system. Okay, this is the vacuum chamber and it is connected to iron gauge and there are some baffle valve, diffusion pumps and some main valve, roughing valve, ga thermocouple gauge or pirani gauge, air inlet valve, magnetic valve, flexible coupling and rotary pump. So here there is diffusion pump and rotary pump and different type of baffle valves and iron gauge and pirani gauge etc. So, this is an example of a simple vacuum system. Now, assume that the vacuum system is free from leaks. Okay, the vacuum system is free from leaks and no gas is evolved in it and the gas is at constant temperature. These are the three assumptions. Then the working of this vacuum system can be simply explained as the initial pressure is same as through the system. Okay. When the pump is started, the gas moves from the pump vessel into the pump. And the amount of gas in the system decreases continuously since the volume and temperature remains constant. And the next one, in such a way, the pressure reduces and the pressure at the pump inlet is PP, which is lower than the pressure P at the outlet of pump. So, the pressure drop will be the pump. Pressure P at the outlet of pump minus the pressure at the inlet that is P minus PP that is the pressure drop. Due to this pressure drop the pressure at the vacuum vessel decreases at different rates and thus there will be two speeds that is pumping speed and speed of exhaust. The pumping speed is for the vacuum vessel and the speed of exhaust is for the vacuum pump. The next we can explain the speed of exhaust SE. It is the volume of gas extractor per unit time from the vacuum vessel into the vacuum line at the mean pressure and uh, it can be explained as dV by dt. That is the volume of gas extractor per unit time from the vacuum vessel into vacuum line at mean pressure. 
Next is pumping speed SP. It is the mean flow through the cross section of inlet port of pump. That is, it is the mean flow through the cross section of inlet port of a vacuum pump. For an infinitesimal time span, the volume can be considered as dVp and uh, time is uh, dt respectively. The pp is the pressure at the pump inlet. So, sp is equal to dVp by dt. Okay, where dVp is the infinitesimal volume and dt is the infinitesimal time then the sp. The pumping speed is a measure of pump's capacity to remove the gas from the chamber. That is, it is a measure of pump's capacity to remove the gas from the chamber. And once more, the pumping speed SI is considered as the intermediate at any intermediate point along that time. The pumping speed at any intermediate point along that time. That is dVi by dt. Next is throughput. It is a measure of quantity of gas pump which can remove from its inlet at a given pressure in unit time. And this quantity of gas passing per unit time through any point in the system QI is defined as the product of pressure PI at that point and the volume of gas flowing in unit time SI. That is simply we can say QI is equal to SI PI where QI is the quantity of gas passing per unit time through that point and uh, PI is the pressure at that point and SI is the volume of gas flowing in unit time. And this quantity QI is known as the throughput of the system. It is same at any point in that vacuum system. So QI is equal to QP which is equal to PPSP and PSE. And unit of throughput will be torr liter per second and uh, PAM cube per second. Pascal meter cube per second. And the last, the next one is pump down time. The time required to attain a required pressure in the system. That is the pump down time. There are two cases, constant speed case and constant throughput case. So, minus V dP by dT is equal to SP. That is the equation 1 where V is the volume of SL being pumped. S is the pumping speed and P is the pressure. In this equation 1, minus V dP by dT is the LHS which is the amount of gas leaving the chamber and the RHS SP is the amount of gas entering the pump inlet which is equal to Q which is the throughput. And the last term that is pump compression ratio, it is the ratio of exhaust pressure to inlet pressure. The amount of work to be done by vacuum pump to drive away the gas molecules from the system and smaller this ratio, easier for pump to achieve a smaller ultimate pressure on the exhaust side. So, today we have explained the basic units and measurements and basic definitions and some important terms which we have to understand before going to the module vacuum techniques. Thank you.